mineral sink in liquid. Try go, go get some rocks or some uh, some soil, put it in put it in uh, some water, and you'll notice that the rock elements sink to the bottom. But when they're organically bound, they float or not float. They suspend. They hang. That's almost like a miracle. When a mineral hangs or suspends in a liquid, it has an ability to generate an electrical charge. This makes these drinks, these electrolyte mineral drinks that come from plant-derived minerals, super beneficial, super usable, super helpful, and by the way, super non-toxic. That having been said, the importance of colloidal minerals is primal. The importance of plant-derived minerals, plant-derived electrolytes supersedes the importance of any other minerals, but you can still get nutritional benefits from a good mineral salt like Himalayan salt or Celtic sea salt, which contain a well-rounded spectrum of minerals. Probably not going to be as beneficial as a, a vegetable electrical drink, but drinking Celtic sea salt water or Himalayan salt water can still get you some benefits, especially if we're deficient in these electrolytes following long-term activation of the stress response. Anyone dealing with hyperpigmentation, melasma, hypertension, or any other manifestation of the stress response, i.e. most of us, we will benefit from electrolyte drinks, and that's where the Beyond Tangy Tangerine really shines. It's liquid electrolytes. This is why people get such rapid response from the BTT. Most of us are deficient. Remember, the body under deficiency states will suck up nutrients like a dry sponge sucks up water. That means fast. So if we're deficient, and most of us are, and we sip on the BTT, we're going to notice results fast. How fast? Usually within 12 hours, sometimes almost instantly, depending on deficiencies. Electrolytes are basically salts, and replacing these things can be super, super helpful, especially if you're craving salt, especially if you've got adrenal fatigue, especially if you're stressed out, also if you're working hard, especially if you're, working, you're sweating a lot while you're working hard, or if you're an athlete. Celtic sea salt in water is a great salt replacement. Same with Himalayan salt. All veggies are really going to allow you to replace these electrolytes. Veggie juices can be particularly helpful. Veggie juices, of course, will get you plant nutrients and fiber. It's hard to cut. I can't really think of a more well-rounded, easy to utilize, and multifunctional nutritional supplement, if you will, than a vegetable juice. And they're so easy and they're so cheap. You can get, you can get a, a pound of celery for two dollars or less. You can get enough celery and beets to supply you with a vegetable juice, all the vegetable juice you could drink for two days for two dollars. Drop it in a blender with some water, throw in some Celtic sea salt. Not only will you get the electricity, the electrical element of the electrolytes and the veggies and the salt, but the vortex, the spinning action of the blender in combination with water, will, will make, you, uh, make your drink an electrically active liquid, an electrically active beverage. And it's going to be a pretty darn close to instant way of raising your electrolyte levels and getting the adrenal glands its precious salt. These strategies, you guys, are so, so simple, so cheap, so easy to employ and to incorporate into your day-to-day -day lives. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central, and 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. Also, benfuchsarchives.com. Both, both uh, websites have search engines. If you miss a program, review, want to review a program, or direct one of your loved ones or clients or customers or friends to a specific topic, you can search benfuchsarchives.com, also brightsideben.com. And, of course, you can purchase Longevity products right off the website as well. And you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites, too. You can also head over to our blogs, criticalhealthnews.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or also pharmacistben.com. Okay, we're talking the stress response as it regards the adrenal glands and adrenal hormones, specifically aldosterone, our mineral hormone. The hormone aldosterone is the link between mineral deficiencies, electrolyte deficiencies, and the stress response. And it's also the link between psychology and mental health issues and mineral loss 
and the stress response. If you're dealing with migraine headaches, TMJ, asthma, frequent colds, cold sores, heart disease, digestive problems, irritable bowel syndrome, ulcerative colitis, any kind of immune issue, rheumatoid arthritis, cancer even, all of these can be caused by exacerbation or chronic long-term low-level activation of the stress response. And understanding how to relax the body is so important. There's so many ways to do it. Now, we haven't really addressed the the psychological strategies, behavioral therapy or cognitive behavioral therapy, also something called mindfulness. If you're interested in learning how to exploit or leverage mindfulness, and by the way, this is not airy-fairy stuff, mindfulness and, and mitigation or relaxation of the stress response is being studied by physicians and, and, um, and high-powered medical schools like UCLA. You can read anything by a guy named John Kabat-Zinn, Z-I-N-N. He's written extensively. He's a medical doctor. I believe he went to Harvard Medical Doctor. He's written extensively about the relaxation response as it regards uh, stress mitigation, relaxation of stress. Also, Dr. Andrew Weil has written extensively about this. It is so darn important to understand how to relax the body, not just psychologically, not just mentally, not just emotionally, but also by providing the body with nutrients. This is one of the major roles of nutritional supplementation. It tells the body that all is well. Nutritional supplements tell the body that there's plenty. The body doesn't have to be economical. There's lots of vitamins. There's lots of minerals. This is why it's so helpful to get yourself on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Star Pack. Make sure you're using vegetable drinks. Make sure you're getting your salts and your electrolytes, eating vegetables, using dietary strategies, getting off of the sugar. All of these, all of these are strategies that tell the body that all is right, all is okay. When the body believes that all is right and all it's okay, all is okay, and there's abundance, and that it's, in essence, summertime on the African savanna, it will harness and marshal all of its resources, redirect its resources towards healing. If you're dealing with any kind of degenerative condition where your body is not healing, guaranteed your body thinks its survival is at stake. Remember, the healing system, the healing process is built into the body. What's the proof? Well, we wouldn't have survived two million years if we didn't have a built-in ability to heal, a built-in ability to handle survival threats. The fact that we're still here after two million years tells us that we must have evolved some kind of system for helping, helping the body, helping our physiology deal with emergency, deal with survival threats. What's happened today is we've managed to tell the body that its survival is at stake 24-7, partially because of nutritional deficiencies, partially because of the crappy way we eat, and partially because of poor mental, psychological, and emotional strategies as well. They're all important when it comes to softening the blow of the chronic long-term stress response. And of course, of course, minerals are also important, and this all has to do with the skin. If, you're not, if you don't want to take advantage or leverage these strategies and these ideas for, for our long-term, for our longevity and for our long-term wellness, just for beauty and just for appearance and just for anti-wrinkles and just for getting rid of oily skin and just for uh, preventing, you know, preventing dark spots, melasma and hyperpigmentation, just for vanity alone. Understanding how to soften the blow of the stress response is key and nutritional supplementation, of course, is super important. Tomorrow we'll talk about some other nutritional strategies that we can use, and we'll talk about some hormones that you can get over the counter. We mentioned these before. We'll talk about that tomorrow as we continue talking. Skin health, the stress response, minerals, and hormone health on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Our number, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Let us help you change your life. Let us help you change the lives of loved ones, friends, family members, workmates today. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or skincare or anything you may have heard about or anything we're talking about, we welcome your calls, 844-236-6010. Likewise, if you have a success story or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, let's go to Indiana and welcome LJ to the bright side. What's up, LJ? Good morning. Good morning, Ben. Um, assuming that uh, one is already practicing all the um, uh, all is well strategies that you just talked about, um, but you want a reversed uh, 60 years of uh, plaque build, build up, up in, in the arteries and okay. increase the um, elasticity of the blood vessels, the perfusion, okay. 
about perfusion. What supplements would you recommend to do that? Okay. Well, I'm not going to tell you about the oxygen because that's super important for improving circulation. I'm not going to tell you about all the all is well strategies, as you as you eloquently put it. That's exactly what they are. All is well strategies. The blood circulation depends on feeling like all is well. Hypertension obviously uh, will constrict the the blood vessels and keep the circulatory system from moving as it should. So you got to you got to take care of that end of it. But we'll move on from there. Number one, you got to keep dirt from getting into the blood. When I say dirt, I mean digestive dirt. And that includes sugar. So number one, you got to patch up the gut. That's the first thing for clearing out the blood vessels. Bile, bile salts, attack, or attach, I should say, uh, uh, minerals, heavy metals. They attach toxicity and drugs. So keeping bile operating efficiently is also important. That means digestive health strategies, liver health strategies, bile health strategies, number one. If you have any food problems, you got to correct those. Elimination diet, eliminating foods. Do a food diary. Write down everything you eat and write down how you respond to those foods from a digestive system perspective and then begin to eliminate foods that cause digestive distress. And then you want to start to patch up the gut and support digestive health. Bile salts are incredibly important and incredibly underappreciated. Bile salts are actually a type of hormone. And bile salts come from cholesterol, or bile comes from cholesterol, I should say, which is just another reason why statin drugs are so ridiculous, because they'll suppress cholesterol and affect your bile. So making sure your bile is operating pristinely, use the ultimate enzymes, which contain bile salts, and you can actually go get bile salts. In fact, that's one of the first supplements I would get if I was wanting to deal with excess plaque or mineral calcium deposition in the, in the, uh, in the blood vessels. Uh, get yourself on bile salts and the ultimate enzymes after all your meals. You can get bile, and by the way, that's B-I-L-E, bile salts, not bio salts, bile salts. You can get those at a, health, at a health food store, and you can get the ultimate enzymes off of brightsideben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. A, a bunch more. Uh, hang tight, LJ. There's a bunch more stuff you could do, and I'll get you, I'll get you a uh, somewhat exhaustive list when we come back from our break. So hang tight. Don't go away. And if you're on hold, you as well hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 uh, is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. All right. We're back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're off in Indiana talking to LJ. Hello, LJ. Hey. You there, hey, my hey, friend? Uh, okay. Uh, don't forget... Um, what is your opinion using natokinase, it's awesome. uh, arginine, citrulline, and um, uh, it was one more. It was, oh, oh, the heart and body extract. Or, They're all great. They're all great. Arginine, citrulline are super important for cardiovascular health. Um, what was the first one you said you mentioned? What was the first um, thing? Uh, natokinase. Natokinase is an awesome enzyme. One of the reasons I love the Bioluminitely Essence so well as a probiotic supplement is because it has natokinase in it. Natokinase is an enzyme that's derived from natto, which is a kind of soy product, and it is awesome for clearing out the blood vessels. In fact, I was just about to tell you about digestive enzymes in general. All enzymes, digestive enzymes, proteolytic enzymes, are going to be super helpful for helping clear out, uh, clear out the, the circulatory system. In fact, we're going to talk enzyme health tomorrow uh, on the bright side. And if you're interested in checking out some super high-powered enzymes, super duper high-powered enzymes, head over to brightsidehealthproducts.com. I've been studying enzymes now. Well, I've been studying them since pharmacy school, but really hardcore for the last year or so. And I'm telling you, enzymes are poised to be the next big thing when it comes to nutritional supplementation and, and using supplements for health. They're already used in Japan and in Europe as medicines. And, you know, when we talk about vitamins and we talk about minerals, well, when we talk about vitamins, we're talking about coenzymes. At least uh, the B complex and vitamin C, these are coenzymes and cofactors. Vitamin K is a cofactor and a coenzyme. I wrote a nice blog piece, or an interesting blog piece, I'll say, about the different kinds of vitamins. You have coenzyme vitamins, you've got cofactor vitamins, you have uh, protecting vitamins, and then you have hormone vitamins. The coenzyme and cofactor vitamins are unbelievably important, but they work because they support enzymes. The enzymes themselves are what are doing the work, and because of how we eat, most of us aren't getting anywhere near enough enzymes. An enzyme deficiency is probably 
a much bigger problem than anyone suspects. Anyway, you can get all kinds of systemic system enzymes in addition to digestive enzymes off brightsidehealthproducts.com. And of course, the ultimate enzymes from Longevity will help too. Those have bile salts in them. Lecithin is also very important for supporting bile. Probiotics are 